um, you regain your consciousness and uh, you know you realize that you are the same person as the you that was here before sleeping and that is based on the Bayesian influence uh, you know you look at the environment around you and you say oh okay this is the same room that I was uh, before I went to sleep and I'm wearing the same clothes that <laughs> I was wearing before I went to uh, sleep and I have the same set of autobiographical memory <coughs> that <coughs> I had uh, before going to sleep so I must be the same person so that is the major inference that we apply to ourselves after sleeping and this is a cognitive inference right i mean there's nothing to guarantee the continuity of the self you know if you are awake you have the what william james called stream of consciousness and in that your continuity is guaranteed because you have the spacious moment and they have uh, immediate past and immediate future and these things overlap so there's this continuity of psychological time so you are structurally assured of the continuity of the self but once you go to sleep uh, this structural assurance is lost so you have to apply cognitive inference so when you were a child and you were um, in a, a fa friend's house and you fall asleep and your friend's parents or your parents carry you to a sofa or a bed and when you wake up you don't realize the room because you are there for the first time in such a situation you're not so sure uh, you know if uh, you are the same you as before because the situations are different so suppose you wake up in a spaceship you know in a silvery shining room then you wouldn't be sure um, you know whether it's the same you uh, you know so this cognitive inference about the continuity of the self is a very fundamental aspect of life we learned um, at the early stage of life and we are always uncertain we are so insecure about it so when we get, we get up we look at the clock intuitively because you know there's no way to know for sure how long you have slept you might have been in a coma for example and you might actually have been sleeping for years that could happen so you know there's no way to tell how long you have slept you have lost consciousness so uh, i think this problem of the continuity of self is very interesting and it has some fundamental um questions to be raised about the very foundation of self-awareness and self-identity and you know it's quite interesting because people sleep you know we sleep we all sleep uh, students sleep uh, teachers sleep dictators sleep and you know nice people sleep not so nice people sleep we all sleep so um, I think the continuity of the self before and after sleep is one of the most interesting topics of you know consciousness that we can discuss.